The following story was written and recorded by Cherokee, a participant in Mental Health Connecticut's Write On program. This class was done online during the 2021 coronavirus pandemic, precluding our usual in-person final reading event. The title of Cherokee's piece is A Volcano. This story is raw, personal, and contains language that may not be suitable for younger listeners. My name is Cherokee, and I would like to share what it's like to live inside my own head. So much to the point where I never realized how dangerous it could be, how explosive. I never thought that now I'd relate to someone like Emily Dickinson so strong, a poet who preferred the company of her own mind over the company of others. Open me carefully, she would ask the readers, she would ask to, a request so vulnerable in speaking, but so powerful in the words themselves. I wonder sometimes what would happen if I asked someone to please open me carefully. Would they? Would I even want them to? Sometimes I think it'd be easier to keep the doors locked and the lava rushing inside me shut away. I'd rather not be open at all. I never truly realized how destructive I can be. A literal walking, talking volcano, keeping everything bottled up for so long to the point where I, to others, seem like the type that would never erupt, never explode, never keep everything locked up tight inside of me. An isolation that is self-done, something that I only have myself to blame for. I spent my life in this little bubble, always quiet there, locked away with my own thoughts and wild imagination. My own mind becoming my sense of freedom. Here, I locked every bit of myself away. I always thought it was safer there. But I never knew that I am a volcano with too much bottled up inside, not letting anyone in, not even to take a quick peek. Getting hurt has always been my fear. I grew up around hurt, and I never wanted it to happen to me. But sadly, it did, and the volcano erupted. My mind is my escape hatch, my safe haven where the real me lives. And when I finally met someone I felt comfortable sharing everything with, that was it for me. It took me my whole life, but I felt myself open up naturally and knew it must have been meant to be. Hard on the outside, cold, a nice enough place to approach and visit, but afraid of what could stir from the inside out. That's me. That's how I assume people see me. But she saw me differently. And that felt nice for a while. But what stirred in me was every emotion I kept bottled up. And when I realized I was in the type of relationship I vowed I never would end up in, I exploded. Toxic, acidic, poisonous, hot, and scarring. It was all of the above. I waited so long to put that trust in someone because I promised myself I would never end up in the toxic relationship that I bore witness to my entire life. I knew better. I did. But I also realized that you never see it coming until it's about to end. And I held on. I really did. To her and that feeling of euphoria. But the downers hit and the euphoria left and I felt empty. So empty even the hopeful ideology of my mind wasn't enough to save me. I was stuck in the rut called excessive and too much for allowing someone I shouldn't have. She was an ice cube in my hand, hard and cold who didn't melt into me like I did with her, but instead slowly dropped off of me to be washed away. I love to read. I love to escape. I love to live in the lives of others. Daydream in the adventures and mishaps of my favorite characters. I was content with that, with feeling love and romance, want and desire through the never-ending pages of never-ending stories. My life feels incomplete sometimes, since it's not like those stories. Most people don't get my, my daydreaming, but it's what grounds me to this world. I ask to be opened up carefully once, and I fear that I may never do it again. I'll be alone like Emily was. But just like her, I'd have my words and my thoughts. The two things I've always held on to closely. The things I'm afraid to erupt out of me if prompted. The thoughts I don't share. 
the dreams I tell to keep quiet, the door I keep locked, and the volcano that I refuse to let erupt. Thank you. Woohoo! Awesome! Excellent! Good. Yay.